Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be building my Raspberry Pi laptop. Now, it's a project I've been working on for a very long time, uh, and I finally am getting it out of the way. I've been working on this for quite a while, even before I started this channel. So, I have, obviously the case is pr printed here. Uh, some of the assembly's done, most of it's not. So, uh, the link to all the parts that I used will be in the description below, as long as the links are still alive. I ordered some of this stuff, like, six months ago. Uh, so it's been quite a long project. So the case here, obviously the screen goes up top, got room for an SSD because uh, I hate using SD cards and Pis, so I made my Pi 4 boot off SSD. Pi 4 goes here and then we've got room for the battery over here as well as the electronics for the screen and it all runs off one battery bank. So speaking of the battery bank, I have this guy here. I Just some Chinese power bank but it has two USB ports in it, and it can charge over USB-C or micro USB. And this guy is just pressure fit into place, and it slides in there. So like I said, most of the assembly is already done, and I'm probably going to do most of the soldering off camera, as I'm going to have to do quite a bit of cable cutting. So we've got my Pi 4 here, this is the 4 gigabyte one. Uh, I bought it before they've released the 8 gig ones. It slides onto some pegs here, and I'm probably going to use a little bit of hot glue to uh, hold it in place as the pegs. It still kind of moves around a bit. Um, as this is my first real CAD project, um, yeah, I'm not that great with CAD. So I used Autodesk Fusion 360, and uh, that's this is really the first thing I've done with it. Now the SSD slides in upside down over here. It is a 120 gig fatty dove for like 20 or 30 dollars on Amazon. It also press fits into here. And now for the USB to SATA connection, make sure it goes into the USB 3 port. As well as it is actually important that you have a good one of these cables as some of the cheaper Chinese ones will not work to install Raspbian to. That's another important note is I have not updated this to the new Raspberry Pi OS as I haven't booted it since it came out and I don't know if it works with SSDs. So that just kind of tucks in there. Now the screen components are in this box over here. Sorry if that's loud. So we have a board here with four button, five buttons on it, and an IR receiver. There's actually a uh, remote for this TV. I've never actually had everything in this case. I've test, part, test fit some of the things. Uh, the board here for the TV actually just sits on top of the SSD. Uh, probably not the best, but that's where it goes for now. And the screw holes line up, so I'll screw that into the SSD later. I don't actually have the screws for it. I bought an SSD for my main PC and used them for that. But this little board here just plugs on to this connector here somehow. And that will enable us to actually control our TV, or our screen rather. So one thing is if you are ordering these parts, when you're ordering the LCD screen, make sure you get it with everything, all like the audio driver board and stuff that when you read its description, you may not realize you need it, but you definitely do. So this guy just kind of tucks in here. As you can tell, a lot of this mounting is very sketchy. Um, the, also the plan is, is that I will be able to upgrade it later. Let's say they release Pi 5 and it's the same form factor. It will still fit in this case. Uh, so that tucks in there like that. Now for the bottom half, if I had screwed everything in, it would be complete. And the keyboard is just a wireless Bluetooth keyboard with a trackpad. It just kind of sits on top of everything. And there is a little notch in the back of the case here for the screen cords to go to. So it sits in like that. Now for the screen, it is admittedly very, very sketchy. So the screen is duct taped to the bezels. And for this, we literally just 
there's a connector on the back here that comes up from the control board. Can be very finicky and not easy to get on. So I'll probably cut and come back when this is done. All right, I have the screen connected here. As you can see, I had to pop the keyboard off. Now I have actually lost my electrical tape, despite the fact that I've been cleaning all day. Um, so I'm going to need to tape this connection down so that it kind of stays relatively flat. So I'm going to use scotch tape instead because I have that for my 3D printer. I'm just gonna tape it down so ooh, hopefully get a little bit better strain relief on these cables and not load tension up. Don't worry, I will be taking this apart later and installing electrical tape. Oh, but if you thought that was the least sketchy thing I was about to do, you'd be wrong. Um, as you can see, there are no real mounts to mount the screen in the top of the case. So, it's going to get double-sided taped in place because, like I said, first real CAD project and I don't really know what I'm doing. I am by no means an engineer or anything like that. Um, so I'll be right back when I find that because who knows, everything I do just seems to disappear. All right, now when looking for my double-sided tape, I actually managed to find my electrical tape as well. So I taped the cords up and did this properly with electrical tape. Now, the double sided tape I'm using is just these things you use to stick to things to the walls in your apartment because I live in an apartment and I have quite a few of these. So hopefully they also work to stick screens into the top of laptops. I'm just going to stick a few of them on here. By the way, as I'm sure you're painfully watching me do this, uh, any suggestions, I am more than open to. I am well aware what I'm doing is wrong. Uh, I just don't know a better way of doing it and suck terribly in CAD. So any suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If anyone's still watching at this point, I would be kind of surprised. Also, the reason I'm not gluing this all together, there is actually a reason for it is because I do not want to leave it in one piece. I do intend to take to be able to take this apart as uh, that way I can fix mistakes and come back to other things like that. Or just in general, you know, uh, fix my shitty design. Set the screen down nice and gently. There we go. Double side of tape seems to be holding it in place. I'm sure you can hear that clicking. That's just the bezel actually coming off the screen. But, uh, it's in there. So, uh, yeah, now I'll just cut. Uh, basically, I just need to plug all the wires in and I can show you the method behind my madness. All right, as you can see, I have uh, quite a bit of a mess of cables in front of me. Uh, basically, I'm powering the machine on. Just press, the, turn on the power on the battery and everything should boot up here. Uh, so basically, it's just a battery powered Pi with a screen. As you can see, it is actually booting. It'll boot straight into Raspbian. And then the keyboard basically just sits on top of this massive mess here. And there you go, it's booted right into Raspbian off of the SSD. Um, the Bluetooth keyboard's dead right now. I didn't have time to charge it before this. Um, but there are a few things I did not see and I actually was not sure if this was going to come on as I can't use HDMI plug zero because my printer's not big enough so I had to split this case in two and do uh, just some connections and I reinforced them a bit and it blocked one of the HDMI ports. So luckily the second one's there and I used that. Um, 
as well as this here. The, this is the USB for the screen. As you can see, it's, pre well, you can't see that well, but it's pressed very tightly against the edge of the case because it is far longer than I thought. And now basically what I need to do is cut all these cables to length. I will not be cutting my HDMI cable as this is the only micro to full size HDMI I have. I have another one on the way. But for now, I'm going to cut down and finish mounting everything else, and I'll come back to you once I'm done soldering and all that fun stuff. Hey guys, so uh, soldering that USB-C cable didn't go too well, but I did get managed to everything. Uh, did manage to mount everything in place, and as well as get the USB-C cable inside. I found, I believe it came with. I ordered a knockoff Switch Pro controller from Wish, and so I'm using the USB-C cable from that. It's nice, short cheap fits inside as well as I just zip tied the power power cable for the screen as well it's USB A to barrel jack now I did have to do the same to the USB C the only long cable I still have left is the HDMI um, hopefully I can find a nice short one somewhere uh, probably from Amazon I'm guessing we'll have something like that so I plug the HDMI in and turn it on and I also did remove the little board here, the power board. Uh, it turns out you don't actually need it, but, and it still boots into Raspbian just fine. Now I did check with all these cables and crap, uh, the keyboard does still fit on top. And now if you're wondering how the keyboard works, it is Bluetooth. So once it gets powered in here, and as you can see, it's in Raspbian running off the SSD. Now, this keyboard here is not currently paired. Oh, it actually is going to pair for me. So, don't quite know if you can see it here. But, uh, the trackpad is just connected via Bluetooth and the keyboard sits on top. And that's how everything works for you. So, uh, now, this is basically just a first prototype. Uh, this obviously will not stay this way. Uh, as there are some pretty obvious improvements I need to make. Um, so if you have any suggestions, uh, leave a comment down in the description below. But uh, for now, this is it. Uh, basically, the only thing I'm going to do right away to this guy is find a really short micro HDMI to HDMI cable. And uh, my next project is either going to be a DIY bench power supply or I'm making my own air conditioner. As to which one of those I do first, I do not know. But thank you guys for watching to this point, as I'm very sure there's nobody left. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.